Our lesson for today is about using part whole in addition. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret and represent the part whole concept in addition using models. Question number one. Mandy has eight yellow cubes. Sharifa has seven red cubes. How many cubes do they have all together? Let's break down the question and understand it. Mandy has eight yellow cubes. Sharifa has seven red cubes. We already know that we have eight yellow cubes and seven red cubes. How many cubes do they have all together? The question asks us to find the total number of cubes. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Let's use a rectangle to represent the number of yellow cubes, which is equal to 8. Let's use another rectangle to represent the number of red cubes, which is 7, and add it to the diagram. Can you see that the two parts make one whole? Can you see that the total number of cubes is equal to 8 and 7. You understand it now? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The total number of cubes is equal to 8 plus 7. 8 ones plus 7 ones is equal to 15 ones. 15 ones is equal to 110. 5 ones. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. Hence, they have 15 cubes all together. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From our answer, we know that they have 15 cubes all together. From the question, we know that Mandy has 8 yellow cubes. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, we know that our answer is correct. Question number two. Mr. Ong has 193 apples. Mrs. Ong has 76 apples. How many apples do they have all together? Let's break down the question and understand it. Mr. Ong has 193 apples. Mrs. Ong has 76 apples. How many apples do they have all together? The question asks us to find out the total number of apples Mr. Ong and Mrs. Ong have. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Let's use a rectangle to represent the number of apples Mr. Ong have, which is 193. Let's use another rectangle to represent the number of apples Mrs. Ong have, which is 76, and add it to the diagram. Can you see that the two parts make one whole? Can you see that the total number of apples they have all together is equal to 193 plus 76? You understand it now? Great! 
Let's move on to the calculation. The total number of bubbles is equal to 193 plus 76. Let us add the ones. Three ones plus six ones is equal to nine ones. Let us add the tens. Nine tens plus seven tens is equal to 16 tens. We group the tens. 16 tens is equal to 106 tens. Add the hundreds. One plus one is equal to two. One hundred and ninety-three plus seventy-six is equal to two hundred and sixty-nine. Hence, they have two hundred and sixty-nine apples altogether. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From our answer, we know that they have 269 apples altogether. From our question, we know that Mr. Ong has 193 apples. The number of apples Mrs. Ong have is equal to 269 minus 193. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, we know that our answer is correct. Question number three. A library has 256 English books. It has 184 Chinese books. How many English and Chinese books are there in the library altogether? Let's break down the question and understand it. A library has 256 English books. It has 184 Chinese books. We already know the number of English books and Chinese books in the library. How many English and Chinese books are there in the library altogether? The question asks us to find the sum of the number of English and Chinese books in the library. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Let's use a rectangle to represent the numbers of English books in the library, which is equal to 256. Let's use another rectangle to represent the number of Chinese books in the library, which is 184, and add it to the diagram. Can you see that the two parts make one whole? Can you see that the total number of English and Chinese books in the library is equal to 256 and 184? You understand it now? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The total number of English books and Chinese books in the library is equal to 256 plus 184. First, let us add the ones. Six ones plus four ones is equal to 10 ones. We group the ones. 10 ones is equal to 110. Add the tens. Five tens plus eight tens plus one ten is equal to fourteen tens. We group the tens. Fourteen tens 
is equal to 100 four tenths. Add the hundreds. 200 plus 100 plus 100 is equal to 400. 256 plus 184 is equal to 440. Hence, there are 440 English and Chinese books in the library altogether. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From our answer, we know that there are 440 English and Chinese books in the library altogether. From the question, we know that the library has 256 English books. The number of Chinese books is equal to 440 minus 256. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, we know that our answer is correct. Now, it's your turn to challenge yourself and solve this word problem. Check out my Facebook page for the correct answer. That's all for today, kids. Always remember, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Keep on learning. Bye!